when you open up Chrome, you're going to be able to get to all of your Google apps right away without having to add any additional apps or extensions onto your Chromebook. Right here in the top right hand corner are nine dots. Click on it, it says Google Apps. You'll see your Drive, Classroom, Docs, Sheets, Slides. All of them are already available to you. You won't have to search for them. You don't have to add them from anything. Also in here is Google Meet. We'll be using this later in the year instead of Zoom for all of our class meetings. You have several links that have already been saved for you on your Chromebook here in the top left corner of your screen. It says WCPS Quick Links. When you click on it, you'll be able to see a link to Office 365. You'll also have a link to a student view, and you'll also have a link to your WCPS email. Sometimes you're going to need to work offline. It might be because you don't have good Wi-Fi, something's going on, and you can't access something. Here, in the top right-ish area, is your settings app. Click that, go to settings, and you're going to go down to where it says offline. For you, this will be unchecked. You'll be able to check it, and then you'll be able to create, open, and edit all of your recent docs and all of your Google files offline. Then when you get back to an area that has good Wi-Fi, they'll all autom automatically upload, and you'll be able to access it anywhere that you need to. If you want to know the shortcuts for the Chromebook, click Control Alt question mark. Check out all the different shortcuts that you can utilize to help you best use your Chromebook. Popular ones will be up first.